Hey, Mom. It's looking really nice out here. Thanks. I couldn't sleep, so I got up early. You going somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna head back into the city, actually. But there's still a few more days of vacation. Yeah, I know. I figured it'd be good to get back in and settle before school starts. I mean, Luis is at the house, right? It's, it's not a big deal. No. I haven't wanted to tell you this, but you're going to find out soon enough. Find out what? The federal prosecutor has taken your father's leaving town as an admission of guilt. They want to forfeit our assets. A restitution. What, they want to take our money? Well, not yet. But they have frozen our accounts. And now they're making an inventory of everything that we own. I asked your granddad for help. What, you told Grandpa? Not that it did any good. As you can imagine, he's not very happy with my role in your father's departure. For the time being, at least, I've been cut off. I can't believe you knew all this and you didn't say anything. All summer, I kept hoping I could make it go away, and maybe I still can. Which is why I need you to keep your chin up and trust that your mother's got this handled. Well, when he left, Dad told me to take care of you. And you are. Nate, let's not fight about this, please. Tip number three, take time to smell the flowers. Well, I gotta go. Let's talk about this later, okay? It's true that all good things must come to an end, and August is no exception. They don't call it fall for nothing. Hey, this is Nate. Please leave a message. Nate, it's Catherine. Listen, last night was not smart. In fact, it was very, very stupid. Which is why we're gonna have to be much more clever when we get back to the city. Call me when you get this. <laughs>